Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 61 of my let's play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. We just opened up a new map here in the depths of Gualacuna Castle, so let's go fix up our mining so that we can actually mine everything. Ah, talk about spacing out. Well, I took them down for a good reason. Well, for a reason. You can decide for yourself whether it was a good one or not. So yes, we can mine everything now. Let's get going. Well, this is quite the atmosphere. It seems that some kind of magical ritual was conducted here. Yes, quite the suspicious rituals, Kisner thinks. And it's true, it's got a mysterious atmosphere to it. Kind of church-like feeling. Alright, Eel tells us to be careful. There are golems. And it's not like one or two either. There are a lot. In any case, what we need to do is set some fillers about. Which basically means we go around fixing fillers like we usually do. So, nothing to fear here. Alright, let's go. Hey, wait. What about Fia? Yeah, everybody's had something to chip in except for her. And Rosalina, I guess. What are you doing in back, Fia? You're usually around making a commotion. Well, again, she's feeling uneasy. You may recall she said the same thing when we were fighting in the ruins against that thing that was whatever badly attuned to her. So, uneasy again. And she's trying to remember why, but she... nothing comes out. Look, Avaro says, you don't need to worry about trying to remember these things. Let's just take our time here, and we'll figure it out. Okay, sounds good. So, 40 turns. We're not going to lose here. I mean, it'd be pretty hard for the enemy to take our base or defeat all of our units. Unless we were really sucked. Remember to fix all the broken stone pillars and collect all the mining points for the bonuses. Yes, Actually. No, no, no. I've got a plan, really I do. You may as well make the Avaro do it. Hey, I've got a bad weapon. Let's switch. Man, that is so cheap. Avaro is a fairly good match for these stone golems. They can't do any damage to him, at least. If you want someone who can destroy them, pick Ranrin. Her lightning spells can just rip them apart, but you can't capture them like that, so I'm not going to be using her much. Maybe in the later portions when there's just too many of them. Oh yes. Oh hey. So be sure to have people who can find hidden rooms, because we found two already and we're like two rooms in. Other than that, Grisha and Sally is also pretty good 
tanking these guys. Kisner, I didn't try in my trial run. Yeah, and she's a bit over level anyway. All right, everything seems to be in order here. Now, stone golems have determination. So when they're really, really low on life, they get 50% bonus to their attack and defense. At which point, Avaro will be doing one damage, but they will still be doing only one damage to Avaro. So he'll be safe enough. It's just those last 10 hit points will take forever. Which is why we need to keep Fia around. I mean, a lot of these guys can do a lot of damage. At least early on. But Fia can also do a lot of damage when it's all the way down. Because her capture skill hits their magic defense, which they have crap for. So even when it's in full determination mode, it'll do take 21 damage per hit. Come to think of it, she might be able to defeat it right now. Mm, nope. Well, let's give it to someone who needs the experience. Hey, anybody want to be a sucker today? Wait a minute. No, Ophia wasn't still wearing the mercy ring. So, uh, you better hit Mikayu, otherwise you're gonna get smashed. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Oh, keep on moving on. We have a lot of these pillars to put together. I think there are ten in total. Yeah. Quite a few. <laughs> well, a lot like the golems, these gargoyles can't stand up to Ranrin's magic. But I want to capture this if possible. Hmm, six damage. Well, gargoyles are not nearly as dangerous as stone golems. No determination. Way low hit points, comparatively speaking. Let's see, 18 times 2. He could actually pull this off. Oh, and a... An activation of his pierce skill. That was good. So not only are there hidden rooms, but there are hidden rooms with mining in them. So not only do you have to be able to find hidden rooms, you also have to be able to mine. Although you could say go through with Eel to find the hidden rooms and follow up with Kaladin in order to mine them when applicable. Tempted to leave the world will pull open to get another freak gargoyle or two. Actually, that sounds like a really good idea, and if I hadn't moved the next character, I would have taken back Rudin's turn. Oh god. I don't want Eel taking on those two. Hey, that one's a boss. Oh, 
Now what could possibly be hiding in a hidden room? Like the last hidden room we went in. Hmm. Now, I'm having these two fly ahead. My walking characters will be able to reach that room soon enough, but... I mean, if I can get across there, I may as well. You know, this will work. Hmm. Sure, let's do it. Actually, let's equip something else and then let's do it. No special resistance here. Oh. Heal doesn't have a capture rope on. I must say Risho and Sele is a good pick for fighting these guys as well. Although at the bottom she'll only do like two or three damage. I mean that's better than most of my other characters. Karin is an excellent choice for tanking as well because they can't actually attack him. Well, if they did attack him. Oops. I thought it was Rudin's turn. Rudin, you take care of this. Oh man. Rudin sucks at this. Well, Ranrin isn't going to do much better, actually. Because this thing has a ton of defense. What I probably ought to do is take Ranrin and lightning its ass off. It'll die then. Well, anyway, the matter at hand. if Rurin's magic attack can do anything significant to these guys. If you're not going to capture them anyway, we may as well make sure you hit hard. Alright, capture someone, Fia. Now it'll have plus nine, I think. Plus eight or plus nine. I think it's plus eight. So she'll only be doing three damage. But it does one damage to her. Still. Yeah, this is what it's like trying to finish off a stone golem without magic attacks. Run away, Rudin. And next turn you get to use your wrenched attack. 
since apparently it can't retaliate. Alright, keep out, Orishu. Let's keep kills away from Thea as best we can because she's on the verge of getting to level 27. And everybody else deserves experience too. Okay, pro tip, don't put VA in range of heavy hitters. I'm gonna wait for next turn anyway, actually. Oh crap. Can't be helped. I need to get to this feather. Because I like having feathers. Ouch. Well, let's do it. In case you couldn't tell, I knew that was coming. But, well, what do you do? You gotta kill it. Capture. Hmm, Detail's actually a pretty good candidate for killing these things. They've got a ton of defense, but not a lot of life. But, since he can get through their defense, well. She has got all the advantages here, but she'll still take 15 damage twice. Let's hold off for now. Yul, how about you? Well, let's use something else. I think it's safe with Holy. 1990-16. Yeah, she's still got that attack buff. Oh no, she's doing so badly. Yeah. Don't you love doing that? What? No, that bastard. Hmm. Neither of these two can really take it in melee range. Well, I could heal his ass. And send him back in. And then once he gets low again, pull him back for more healing. Those things are also actually quite fast. Not just yet. Let's work on bashing this guy apart. And then, um, oh, that's better. And then Fia can finish it off. Hmm, actually, let's check my other characters. Uh, one damage. Even less than one damage. Yeah, it's up to Fia. Hmm, come to think of it, since I was a boss, I wasn't able to capture him in the first place. 
私をこんなに散らすだなんて Man, I have half a mind to just ignore this sucker and wander in through the, to the next part. <sighs> yeah, you know what? I'm pulling both these guys back. Oops. I want to capture that thing, and trying to capture it with those two is going to be a waste of time. This is about perfect. That thing has a ton of melee attack, but these two, it cannot possibly hurt significantly. Let's see. Oh crap. Did it decide to come this way since I unsummoned those Yuichi? Huh, well. Eel's got a ton to dodge. I bet she can take. Whoops. Well, as long as we're doing this. Yeah, that's actually about as good as EO can do. Oh, I can put on a fire weapon. The good old fire claws. Hmm. Nothing special here. And she can't use her special attack. Well, <laughs> let's handle it. Oops. All that trouble and that ended up like that, huh? Okay, 11 damage times. Well, she won't do enough damage, but at least she won't kill it without capturing it. Well, this isn't going to go well. On the other hand, it'll do like one damage to him as well. I hate that reflectability so much. Well, let's see. Damn it, Skype. Uh, I should know better than leave it on. Yeah, let's snipe this sucker. I hate the reflectability so much. Well, let's snipe this suck with Thea, with Mercy on. Six times three, yeah, she'll do it. Well, unless that reflect comes up again. Great, perfect. And a kill for Risha and Teddy. Oh crap. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now three yellow potions, small. Now green. Yeah, I shouldn't let her get hit too many times like that. Mm. Yeah, even in the depths of determination, Alvaro still isn't hurt by these guys. He doesn't do much damage, but at least he's safe. Hmm, they give pretty good experience. Oh great, another one. He was kind of injured right now, so I'll hold off. Oh, is that a mining point? Two more to find. Oh. I pulled the Rishu back, didn't I? Where is she? Alright, heal evil. Now I want Rishu doing this. The tanking. So we'll move her in position first. Actually, Heal's not going to kill this thing, so she may as well have the army god ring on for maximum damage. Oh, she got hit, but the shield activated. Ah, sucker. Yeah, let's take a risk. I don't think it's gonna die, and it probably won't kill Eel either. Although, man, is it starting to hurt. Oh, that's pretty good, pretty good. Oh yeah, Thea, we need some healing here. There's probably mining in that one. It's pretty rare for one of these rooms to be completely empty for no particular reason. Alright, take a look. There's a large golem ahead. Yep. So, most of the golems are protecting this particular golem. 
Must be important. In other words, we have to beat the big one. Yeah. Alright, this one in particular. Fia hates him. She doesn't know why, but it really irritates her. Yeah, so. What's up all of a sudden? Another weird feeling? She doesn't understand the reason, but she just hates the thing. Anyway, I want to kick it out of the castle. The goddess got angry. Yeah, that is pretty rare. Well, if she goes so far as to say this, let's smack the thing up. So this is Centaur Meden. It doesn't show it, but it has the determination skill, so it'll be a bit of a pain. Which reminds me... God, so frustrating. Rosaline actually has a pretty good attack against that guy. And she could use the experience. Since we can't capture it anyway. I think it's AI is programmed to go for the closest enemy. So as long as we keep our tanks in front, it should be safe. Hmm. Eel, however, could get hurt really badly and in a hurry. Hmm. Now you could deploy either the ghosts into this room, this room, after the stone golems are gone, because the boss only has physical attacks and the ghosts are practically immune to that. Maybe these things don't always go after the lowest, the closest enemy. That guy seems to, though. I don't even know if it's worth having a bar around. He can hurt the stone golems. He can't really hurt the boss. Look at that, she has a healing duty and she still gets a level up. Yeah, not a particularly good one. But she gets in a lot of magic battles anyway, so... Hell, magic defense is a good thing. You know what, I'm going to bring out Keysnare as well. Hell, I could just bring everybody out. 17. Yeah, it's not going to... Eel's not going to kill it. Although, it might kill Eel next turn. Oops. Yeah, she has the capture ability on. I'm used to most of my characters having three abilities. Regular attack, special attack, and capture. 
but she just has the two. Hmm, may as well for the moment. Oh yeah, no wonder it didn't attack Karin. Karin's invincible. Thirteen... no. Just defend for now. Oh, that's just not fair. Okay, heals alive. I'm happy for that. Probably I'm going to have her retire at this point. Alright, Eel. Run away. Come on, come on. I don't think she'll do enough damage. But it's worth a shot. Ah, stupid stone golem and stupid protection. Kisner wouldn't normally be one I would rely on, but she does have that boss killer ability, which may be able to punch through its defense even when it's fully determined. What I'd really like is somebody with a lightning melee attack. I mean, geez, that would chew these guys up so bad. Not the boss, though. It's actually a lightning elemental kind of thing. Alright, fun times. Yeah, the, the boss has a 75% reduction in lightning damage, so... Stick to earth damage and holy damage. Hey, I've got an earth elemental in here. Healing duty for you. Great. Ah, quite an attack, isn't it? But this isn't actually the one we need to use on the boss. The boss has darkness... darkness resistance. So... Hmm. Well now. Let's take a look. Yeah. Well, like I said, darkness resistance on the boss, so it did almost nothing to him. But it hurt that other golem pretty bad. going to attack Karin because Karin is closer this time. And like I said, Karin has Earth Elemental attacks which will do significant damage. Ah, this is good, this is good. Stupid stone golems! 
行動開始だ Well, let's take a bit of a risk. I need to start pulling guys up. Rishu should be able to kill this one. Bring Avaro in as soon as we got room, I guess. This still has that mercy ring on, yeah. I should have done it to knock this stone go golem down to one for Rishu. Or probably for Cotton. We wouldn't want Deedhelm to be attacked with their magic attack because he doesn't have as good magic defense and it's also an earth elemental attack. But well. Oh jeez. What happened to attacking the closest character, boss? What are you gonna do now, huh? Karn is standing right in front of you. Those golems really do give pretty good experience. In spite of the fact that they are the same same level. Oh man. Well, this will do decent damage until its determination kicks in. At which point it will be well advised for Deedhelm to run the hell away. Yep, not advised to tangle with the boss with Rosaline until the death blow. Ah, but Kisnir is here. That's good news. And Avaro is here. Hmm, actually Avaro, I'm gonna have you buff Rosaline for the final attack. Oh jeez. Do you just enjoy making things hard on me? Well, Kisner has good attack. And boss killer. Oh man. When we say boss killer, we mean boss killer. Ha. Good job, Avaro. Uh, no, I take that back. You suck. Ouch. Rishu. No, Karin. Karin still needs his level up.
Okay, good job, Kisnir. You got him low. Now we need to finish him off. With something I haven't decided what. Ah, perfect. With Rishu in front of him, he'll probably attack Rishu. And while he'll do pretty good damage, Rishu can definitely take it. Well, that's good damage when you're attacking Rishu. So, here's her attack. That's a lot. She's going to get hit once, though. I was expecting more experience. All right, is it down? Yep. Nothing left but scraps. <sighs> She's pleased by this. I've always investigated these scraps a little bit, and it does have some similarities to the thing that we encountered in the Gushuel ruins. Uh, can you explain it so that Fia understands? Um, in short, it was, it invaded from somewhere on the outside. Kind of like a, a foreign body in your body. Foreign particles in your body. Anyway. Even if you don't remember why, probably that's the reason why you hated the golem as soon as you laid eyes on it. Like an immune system response? Oh, that's how it is. It's like when you get coal show up your nose and it's all itchy and stuff. Coal show is one of those Japanese spices. It's about on level with cayenne pepper, so she's saying having this thing in her body is kind of like snorting cayenne pepper. Ha 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 Yeah, that might be a good analogy for ya. The problem here is actually how did it get in here? These golems didn't make themselves. So somebody set them up down here, perhaps connected to the rituals that this place is apparently made for. So in other words, somebody other than Fia, in some sort of plan, set them here. Yep. I thought I was going to research it a bit further. But that's about it for here. I'm missing a mining point. How odd. I could have swore I run over, ran over the entire place with my engineers. Huh. Stop crying, Fia. All the enemies are dead. Hmm. I'm dead certain it's not in that room, but... I mean, what are my options? I have to say, Rosaline is really great as far as mobility goes. Oh, 
Not only does she have more four movement squares, she can also teleport through the thin walls. Okay. Everybody out before the engineers go through. Man, Detail's gonna need more fatigue soon. You know, one of my peeves when watching Let's Plays is when somebody misses something and he has to go back for it. And it was like right in front of him. I feel like reaching out of the screen and slapping him. Did I overlook? Oh crap. There we go. Alright, now I'm happy. There are more things we could have gotten here. Well, whatever. We got a ton of mithril steel, so that's cool. Alright, so this is taken care of. Ah, finally that bad feeling is fixed. So what do we do with the scraps? Well, she wants us to toss them outside the castle. Even them just being here, even if they aren't assembled, kind of gives her a bad feeling. Hmm. Okay, I've always going to keep a few in order to do research, but the remainder he can toss. Alright, thanks, Avaro. Thanks to him, everything's feeling good. Hmm, Avaro feels like you should be thanking him more for this kind of trouble, but you're welcome. Hmm. I think this is in connection with all those constructs we captured. In my trial run, I actually captured a lot fewer of them. Alright. One stars are good. But also, two stars. Hmm. With an extra 8 physical defense, he'll actually be a fairly good tank at this point. Like, not really, really good, but fairly. Okay, so... I think we're doing good for the moment. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.